just another beautiful morning. Going to the shop here. Gonna probably do my vlog today. Oh, it started to rain. Seriously, and I wanted to do some maintenance work on my truck. Mm. Alright, well, I guess we'll start my vlog now. Let's turn off the truck here. What is up, everyone? In today's video, we are going to be doing some snow runner. <laughs> now, I actually, uh... Way before I got the uh, Hummer and everything and got everything unlocked, I actually uh, tried doing multiple different tries of uh, like films, but those films were all like just driving around because I was trying to get to do the one mission, but I kept flipping over my truck, so I failed. And I was like, you know what? Since I've never introduced you guys to SnowRunner in my channel. I'm going to introduce it to you. Any of you who have not known what SnowRunner is, and you know what MudRunner is, basically it's the same thing as MudRunner, but there's snow in the game, there's different trucks. It's, and then it, it like literally has details in the cabs and all that. Got the horn and everything. But uh, yeah, so we're going to be uh, doing some maintenance work on my one semi truck. Not that one over there, not my international. I'll have to show you. Uh, but uh, as you see, I upgraded my Hummer. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and start her up here. Put her in reverse. Alrighty. I like I like first person because it's not as loud inside. But um, so we're going to be um fixing that semi huge truck over there there's my international i think we're gonna be moving that today uh we don't have many things around uh we're gonna be um trying to get go get some oil today in town here i'm gonna turn on oil. all right what we're gonna do is uh, let's see international all right we'll go ahead we'll let the international warm up here make sure things set here all right now what we'll do is we'll go to the old international here we'll let that warm up here that thing is really loud let me try stopping the engine here and then turn it back on Actually, wait now. We'll we'll do we'll do the uh, international later for now. We'll go ahead. Um, here's the international. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna empty out the Chevrolet here. It's already warmed up. I warmed it up before I uh, started the vlog here. Let's see here. Where's the horn? That's what the uh, uh, fuel truck looks like. That's our maintenance ones. That's what. That's what we're going to be using here to uh, fix up the old uh, Ford over there. Alright, we'll go ahead and fill that one up over there. It's raining, so I don't know if we'll be able to do maintenance today. But... We'll go ahead and... Uh... Alrighty. I know you can also automatic reverse, but I just like shifting and all that, so. Uh, a little too far up there. Right there's good enough. We're gonna put her in neutral here. And uh, we'll let her empty here. Uh, make sure everything is good. Fuel up 22 liters, there we go. All right, sorry for that. Um. I'm gonna show everything was good here. Alright, we're gonna head fill up that then. Alright. 
Well, that's doing that. We will go ahead over to uh, the maintenance. It looks like it's not raining anymore, so you may just be good enough. Change. Right, we may just have to go on the map here. International, I believe it's this one, right? Yep, nope, wrong one. All right. Uh, wrong one still. International, there we go. Bam. All right. There's the horn in this. Go ahead and take her around a lot here quick just to get her warmed up just a little bit more. Now this thing may need some maintenance too. The brakes are a little... They don't break as easily. Got our old Ford over here. Oh, God. All right, so now what we'll do, she starts up, but she don't want to drive. It's like, I put, all right, watch, ready. I'm gonna look, cause it, it doesn't go as hard as it is. I am lit. Really? Okay, here's, here's the brakes. I'm letting off and it's not even, here, this, literally, it, it there, I'm letting off, then I'm, there, oh, okay. Now it's moving. I'm holding. I'm literally holding it in, and it's it's just keep it, the brake. It's this is the throttle, and it's breaking. Something's not right. It starts up. Something in here not right. Here's the horn, by the way. Here's a nice one. Um. Something back here not plugged in. See how the air? It... <sighs> All right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna change trip. We're gonna go to international. You know, we'll go ahead and turn that off for now. All right. Repair. Um, Ford. This <laughs> everything's good. No damage, but hmm. that truck is still literally emptying. Oh my God, jeez. Um. That was not right here. Well, the only thing I can do is probably just release the brakes and then basically take them off and see if it throttles them. So that's probably the only thing I possibly can do. So. Go ahead and change truck into the Ford here. We'll go ahead and start her up. See, she starts up fine. Every all the all the gauges turn on. Everything turns on here. I'll even look over that thing. Yep, we're full. Full and get uh, well, not quite, but full enough that we're good to go. So we're not quite empty. Um, there. Oh, she's backing up now. 
Yeah, let's see. Low. Hmm. Alright, what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna reset it. Watch it like this. You do it four times. Alright, it should be in maintenance. The thing with these trucks, they're a little hard. You know what? You, you, there we go. Now the brakes release. There we go. Seems like the brakes needed released by like putting in maintenance, I'm guessing. So you can hear them slowly releasing. Yeah, they must have just needed released because I mean they haven't they haven't been checked for like how long now. So I'm guessing it's probably what it was. to brakes again we, we gotta put it we gotta put it in neutral there you go there now you, you can hear it inside the brakes when you hear it when it like makes sort of like a muffler sound but not quite like a muffler sound so now we don't have to leave any uh, not paying attention here um we don't have to leave it quite into the uh that spot where it was now and the international i gotta just find something to do with it i think what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hide it somewhere kind of like right back there that's probably the best way where I put it, so that's where we'll put it for now. I'm probably gonna be doing some work with it today. I don't know. We may take it to town, just give it a little drive. But the international has got to get out of my way here. Park and break. All right. So now, with this over here, make sure everything's looking good. All right. We'll go ahead and we're gonna put it in the maintenance area. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll change trucks over to the other international here. I don't know why I just fell forward there. All right. Camera angle is really not doing well here. All right. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and back it up here. Don't want to put it in the uh, fuel area. We want to put it in the maintenance truck area here. All right. Now what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna go ahead and Chevrolet conduct and just stalled on me. Always what I wanted. Is it still? Neutral. It's the thing with these trucks. You know, yeah. All right. Now what I'll do. Oh. All right. Well. Now. That's the fuel one. We filled it up with fuel. Now we're good for the next uh, route we'll take then. Why do we have a tire line in the middle of the road? Right. 
I literally put it in reverse and it's still not put it in reverse. This is the only truck we have uh, problems with shifting and all that. WD-40 that'll do the job. All right, now what we'll do is we're gonna head, we're gonna go to town with the semi truck. It's just full on gas. Well, not quite, she's like, not even a quarter here, like centimeter of fuel, so we're good to go here. We're gonna go pick up a semi trailer here in town. Of course it starts raining. Great, always what I wanted. All right, so we're gonna go to town, we're gonna head, we're gonna pick up a uh, semi-trailer here, if we can find it. We had the, uh, when wires got, they came off, so we had to bring them to the local uh, place. They dropped it in, uh, like an abandoned, like, plate. It's not really abandoned, but like people go there, but they don't they don't leave <coughs> because there was some a big flood, so everyone's inside. I've only seen a few people around here that have been out because they don't want to get their trucks, cars, semi trucks stuck in the mud because it's it's really bad out here. It's just not like look. It's literally not that easy. And then here's the farm here. Looks yucky. So, trying to keep out of the mud with semi trucks and all that, but sometimes you gotta go deep. What did I just hit here? But, uh, yeah, yeah, we're, like, that's the muddy part right there. Oh, you should see this field. I went, I went past it the other day, and, man, look at it. Look how bad it looks. It's, like, not that great. Flooded. It literally keeps raining out. Don't mind that. Don't mind that, anyone. That never happened. But um, it's literally always raining every day. It doesn't make sense. Now, the other day I f What did I The other day I flew to Alaska and it was pretty bad. It was snowing there pretty bad. Frost and all that. I uh, actually had the Take this, and I had to pick it up because we had some. Th this truck's always having problems with either just the brakes or like something with just like the air brakes. It doesn't make sense. It like harms. It literally harms the truck. So we gotta like take it around every few days. So then it doesn't like go back into like break mode. Cause I'm about to take it, fly back into Alaska and then, well not fly, but like drive it back into Alaska. Like drive it with a boat and it's not gonna be fun. So we figured, well, let's just keep driving it a couple few days and uh, Hopefully, it keeps where it is, and so, now there's a river right here, uh, so we gotta be careful here. Alright. Alright, be ready, and full throttle ahead.
Oh god, we're going back into the water. Why are we going back into the water? Alright, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna field the truck up here. Might as well anyways. see you uh see you when we're done filling up here alrighty we're back um we filled her up she's good to go we're gonna go ahead to town and pick up the semi trailer here we should be full and we are alright good just making sure because I don't want to make because then we'll have to fix like the gauge thing because sometimes they go out of date and well, it don't make sense. Hopefully they didn't put it in a lot of mud. They said it was a little muddy there so that wouldn't harm us. Oh, don't have to worry here. See there how the, there's like literally no one's around. Everyone, shops are closed. The only thing that I, I saw around here was probably like a wood shop for people to load back up on their houses, if anything. So uh, hopefully uh, we can get this uh, town back up and running here. I've been trying my hardest, but with my trucks breaking down and this mud and all that, we're not gonna get done in the next. It may take a few years to get everything back off the roads. But we'll see here. Here's the uh, truck. We got the uh, tanker. We'll have to pick that up later sometime. Probably off camera here. Yeah, this, it's like an abandoned like, area. It's not too abandoned, but. All right. Make sure we're good on that side here. Oh, great. Well, I forgot to put the saddle on. Well, let me call Jerry here and I'll tell him to get the uh, saddle ready and uh, probably bring another truck and bring this one back. Hello. Hello. Hey, Jerry. Uh, how's it going? Good, how are you? Well, uh, not so great. This morning, got everything ready. Uh, I got the uh, Ford uh, up and running. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Um, but uh, I forgot to put the saddle on. You know that uh, trailer that um I uh, had to pick up today. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, um, it's uh can't be hooked up here. Why is that? Because I don't have the saddle on. Oh, great. Well. Can you uh, get it ready for me at the shop or something? Sure, sure, I will. I'll be there in like 10 minutes. All right, I, um, thank you. You're welcome. All right, I guess I'll see you when you get here. Or I'm gonna be gone, I don't know. Cause I gotta get back uh, to doing my uh, housework. All right, no rush, no rush. I was, you don't have to do it today. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. All right, thank you, Jerry. All right, see ya, see ya. All right, well, just got off the phone here, and uh, I guess we're gonna head back to the uh, shop here. Probably get the salon. We may actually be able to pick up, uh, pick it up with a different semi, because at least we got it out for a run today. Now we may have to pick it up tomorrow because it's starting to get dark out, and I really don't feel like picking it up tonight. But uh, may just have to deal with it. We'll figure that out here. So, yeah, there's like a pothole here. It's like something about a grew in here. All right. 
Can I light? Uh, no, lights are on. Don't see more of it though. Uh, well, I made a dumb decision. Plus, it wouldn't have take, taken me a week or so to put it on because <laughs> at least Jerry was here, so I should be able to put it on. And, uh, be on our way. I guess I'll see y'all um, when we uh, get the saddle on and stay the next day. So uh, I'll see you guys uh, when we uh, are back. Alrighty, it is the next day here. Uh, we got the saddle on. Um, my dad actually came out and helped me last night. We were, me and uh, Jerry were having a little trouble here. So uh, I think now it is time that we go ahead and my dad said uh, we should probably just take out the Ford and uh, anyways, just to get it. I mean, we did that last night too, but we my dad said just to do it just so then it doesn't have problems again. So we actually, uh, he actually was here a little bit ago. He actually pulled it out of the shop here. She's all warmed up. We'll go ahead and uh, take it to town here. Because uh, we're going to need it here. Let me get my thumbnail real quick, everyone. All right, we're all good. Let's get my thumbnail real quick. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go back to the uh, town here and uh, I think we'll call it a uh, vlog here then. One foggy morning it was like that last night. I mean, yesterday morning too. Something's just not right. It's just from the humidity and all that. I'm not really sure I'm not getting stuck here. That's where the rock slide happened at. Came down from there and brought some rocks down with it. Come on, get moving. I want a little messed up here. We're not even throwing. Why is this thing not going? Something's up, but we'll have to deal with it. Hopefully she's fine while she's hooked up. So I'm out of my neighbors. still really wet. Got stuck in that little ditch. Come on, get through it. There you go. There you go. Be careful there, that's where a big jump is hit. But there's where last night I went flying. I 
Hello? Oh yeah. What are you doing? Uh, nothing really, Jerry. Um, uh, taking the four down back. I uh, got the set on. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah. I remember now. Um, uh, I forgot why you were doing that. Uh, that's the sleep sleepwalking or something. <laughs> Jerry. Uh, hey. Um, do you think uh you can uh, do something for me? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Um, um, I'm just uh, gonna hook it up here. Um. Hook up the trailer, bring it back to the shop, and uh, probably end my, my vlog, and then I'll probably come and help you. Probably come and help you here. All right, uh, I just wanted to know, cause uh, kind of having trouble with it. It's really starting to give me a pain, and now um, it's just not giving me a great time here. So, all right, um, I'll, I'll be there. All right, thank you. No problem. See ya. See ya. Alright, that was not an expected call. I guess we'll have to do something for Jerry after this uh, vlog here. So, hope y'all are enjoying the uh, vlog here. Make sure to pound that like button and subscribe uh, to not miss uh, future videos. Make sure to uh, put notifications on so then you definitely, definitely won't miss any future videos that are, will be coming up here. Okay, here we'll take the shortcut here. I can hear the dog in there, it's like, rough, rough. Throttle's a little weird on this truck, it's just, it's weird. One day just not rain. Should be backing up here into it. Trailer all hooked up. We should be good to go. Put her in low since I don't want her to get her stuck. Now yeah, she's already getting stuck. Some rock there. Ugh, it's getting foggy, seriously. It's getting misty and fog, you know. Alrighty. On the road again. I knew it was gonna rain. See, you can see the raindrops starting to come down. My golly. I have to move to Alaska. <laughs> Just gonna keep doing this. But I'm the only one out here, so I'm probably gonna have to keep doing it and then probably go to Alaska and uh, do some uh, work there. Find something to do rather than just trucking along every day. Some wide turns there. People in the motel. All right. Ooh, that was a big bump. All right, he got to slow down here. Park the rear. All right. Should be moving up. There we go. Alrighty. Go ahead and cut through here. Alright. If we'll be making time before it starts to actually pour, it's starting to pour out. Yep. I just want to have a nice, lovely morning and day, but nope, can't. It's always foggy and misty out. And golly.
I used to be, um, get to see some mist. You don't really don't see that much in the, at uh, Alaska, really. I don't, I actually uh, grew up there. Pretty cool place. I necessarily didn't grow up there, but I went, oh, I went there a lot. Cause my dad uh, used to be a scientist and uh, figure out whether I necessarily uh, grew up wanting to be a scientist, but never could because everything shut down, so can't do that no more, so I gotta go around this log here. But at least I have something to do rather than just sitting around all day doing nothing but watching TV and doing what people normally do. So it wouldn't be mud. It used to be all road, but nope. Until rock slides and all that came down, it's like, man, when can this ever stop raining? I'm try getting there really fast here, so I can end the vlog quick and um, it will be good. Alrighty. I just forgot to put my seatbelt on. There we go, now I got my seatbelt on. We're good to go. We're not that far, but I always forget to put my seatbelt on. I don't think we're ever going to need his visors for this place. Ever, really, ever. I actually went to Europe the other day. Uh, <laughs> I had to meet my friend. Uh, he had an, like a very old, older than a uh, maintenance uh, international and uh, should me. It's like a some weird truck and uh, it's actually pretty cool. I start I actually got the driving and uh hand, it actually handles pretty good. Not as bad as this truck. But trailer back there all right yep <laughs> got scared there I don't, don't want to go back uh, without my trailer <laughs> all righty one well, that is going to finish up today's vlog slash video if you all enjoyed the video make sure to like Subscribe, turn on the post notifications to get it from every another video and future content. And also check out my vlog channel, Mason Phillips. And we will see you all in the next vlog slash video. Have a wonderful day, evening, or night. Peace out. Yeehaw!